What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog with Luke Mindpower. I hope you're having a great day. And remember, if you're not, that is okay as well. Sit with it, but just keep moving forward. Now, we're gonna talk about how you are a product of your environment and why your environment really, really has such an impact on your life. But first, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that notification bell, like, comment and share. I love to hear from you. I love to see what's on your mind and what you think. Uh, so you're a product of your environment. Why do people, why does the TV, why does social media, why does the internet have such a major, major influence and impact on our minds, on our programming of who we are? Why? Have you ever thought about that? Ask those questions, why? One reason I believe why the external world, if we take away family and friends and stuff like that, the external world has such a powerful impact on our life is because they like to keep us at a low vibration. And so if we are not aware of everything that we are consuming, a lot of the information that we are consuming, especially on social media and the news and stuff like that, it is very negative. It makes you feel lower than who you really, really are. Now think about it. If you watch the news and you see a lot of negativity, that's actually negative emotions seeping into your, your, your energy body, right? Your subconscious mind is being programmed by all these... Uh, images, videos, and it's all negative, right? And so when you think about this, if you think about social media, for example, you're not where you want to be. You're looking on social media. You're comparing yourself to others. You're seeing these models, supermodels, nice cars, Ferraris, people who are doing really well, really successful, and you're looking at them and you're actually taking on that comparison and then you're lowering your vibration because you don't feel like you're good enough and you don't feel like that life is is attainable okay and so there you're losing yourself again and because you've been watching the news and it's so negative you're already feeling low vibration so you look at that and then you feel even worse because you don't feel good enough because you already got all this negative energy within you right so that's just a couple of aspects of how you are a product of your environment by making the conscious choices of what you consume on a daily basis. It's about building up your self-worth and, and loving yourself and looking at yourself in the mirror and appreciating yourself for who you are and practicing that every day so that you can build up that confidence so that you can set yourself some goals like, okay, for the next four weeks, I'm going to go to the gym. For the next four weeks, I'm going to walk. For the next four weeks, I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to eat more healthier. And then you achieve that goal and you grow some confidence within yourself because you're like, yeah, wow, I did it. I set those goals for myself and now I feel good about myself because I made myself a priority. It's those kind of choices that will allow your consciousness to rise, which will raise your vibration, which will raise your self-awareness to then say, hey, you know what? I don't need to watch that because that doesn't feed me with good value. That doesn't raise my vibration. That doesn't put me up to that high altitude life that I want to be living. And so when you start to become accustomed to these kind of uh, thoughts and awareness so that you can take your power back, then you start to realize that even the people around you may not be feeding you with the value that you need in order for you to reach your goals and your dreams and to live that successful life and to live an extraordinary life. And so if you really want to live an extraordinary life, you have to understand that you are a product of your environment. And if you're not happy with the, the product that you are, then you need to take your power back and you need to change your environment. And that might mean being alone. That might mean saying no to people. That might mean not watching TV anymore. I haven't watched TV for two years. And look how much energy I have because I decided that I want to feed my mind with positivity motivation, inspiration, be around people that are living on a high vibration, that believe in themselves, that support me, that believe in me. That's the kind of people you want to get around. And if you're in a relationship and your partner doesn't believe, believe in you and support you, you need to talk. Communication is key. Let them know where you're at. Let them know what you need. How can they support you? See how that goes. If it doesn't work, because sometimes you're on different levels. If you start growing and, 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 and your partner doesn't want to grow, there's going to be a disconnection. But that's another story. But you are a product of your environment. So change your environment and change your life. Peace. 
I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and that notification bell. Like, comment, and spread the love. Peace.